If you haven't heard, Technotill is proving to be one of the best seating systems for seating canola on the market today. In this video, we want to demonstrate what to look for when seating canola using your Technotill seating system. There will be two different seating operations, the first on dry soil conditions and the second with moist soil. The seating tool being used is an 820 flexicoil deep tillage cultivator with 550 trips on 12 inch spacings. To prepare this machine for seating before leaving the yard, it was important that the packing plates on each and every run be set properly. Now small differences during manufacturing from one shank to the next may make a big difference in seeding performance. Once the seeder was taken to the field, the soil pack again must be checked on each shank. This machine was set with a one quarter inch pack above the seed. The cultivator was then leveled from front to back to ensure this of this pack during seeding and from side to side so we get even seedling emergence across the machine. In the first field, we are direct seeding into pea stubble in dry soil conditions and there was no pre-seeding preparation done, it was all the fertilizer is side banded. The hand checking I am doing in a number of rows is to determine the amount of loose soil over the soil pack. In these dry soil conditions, I am looking for about one half to three quarters of an inch. So as a quick measure, about half to three quarters of the way to your first knuckle on your middle finger. So what we're looking at here is the depth from the soil surface to the bottom of the seed opener, or actually to the seed bed. Now in this second measurement, really it shows us the amount of dry soil that we had to go through from the soil surface before we hit moisture. Now approximately an inch and a half. Now it puts the bottom of the seed opener about an inch into moisture. Now I want you to keep in mind that the opener really should be set as shallow as possible and still pack the seed into wet soil. As the seeding tool is placed deeper into the soil, the pack that is set on, like on this machine at a quarter of an inch, it really does not change. It's the amount of loose soil that falls back into the furrow that becomes deeper. Now the difference between the Technotill system and a conventional seeder with packers is that the soil above the seed is all packed with the conventional system and that makes it difficult for the seedling to emerge through the packed soil. Now the seeding depth in this demonstration really is about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch deeper than I would normally set it, but I wanted to show how the seedling can emerge through the soil that isn't packed to the surface. So once we get the machine set, then I do make a pass across the field and I stop at different locations just to make sure that my seeding depth is okay. And I also check to make sure it's packing from front to back and also that my setting, my uh, level is good from side to side. I then seed the field. I will stop occasionally just to make sure that uh, no settings have changed as I'm going along. Now uh, I'm seeding about five pounds an acre of hybrid canola and I'm traveling at about 5.4 mile an hour and in about three to seven days I actually would expect to see this type of emergence as you can see it's a nice even emergence and as everybody knows that even emergence results in even flowering and even maturity and that happens throughout the field now it's pretty important I think that we uh, we have this happen because it makes it easier for us to determine when to spray herbicides when to apply fungicides and one to swath your field. So uh, now we've actually gone into the second demonstration and uh, we've moved down into a field of wheat stubble. Uh, by the way, this was seeded with the Technotill seeding system. Uh, again, we've done no pre-seeding work and the fall fertilizer is all going to be uh, side banded. Um, it has rained some and so now the soil moisture has improved so the first thing we did was actually to reduce the total depth of the cultivator and this in turn actually decreases the depth of the seed bed and the amount of loose soil over the pack and what I was looking for was somewhere between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch of soil. Now again we uh, can quickly check the amount of loose soil by using a hand check and do this in a number of runs 
and with the increase in moisture it is necessary to actually dig up the seed. Uh, the higher amount of moisture uh, does allow the seeding tool to penetrate the soil easier and since we want the seed to be as shallow as possible but we still want to do a good job of seeding we need to dig up the seed and make sure that it is being placed at the right depth. Now uh, as we can see the fertilizer is being uh, side banded and it's being placed in the top of the soil pack and into the wall of the furrow. Now the first priority of this seeding system is to create a good seed bed and good soil to seed contact which in turn gives us excellent germination of our crop. Now once the plant stand has been established uh, the crop will find that fertilizer and any rain throughout the year will actually help push the fertilizer through that quarter inch pack and into the uh, root zone. Now there uh, has been some question about the field finish using this system and it is similar to uh, any uh, system using a knife. Uh, the depth of the seeding and the speed of travel will determine how rough the field gets but generally uh, by fall it is smooth enough that you can drive your truck across the seeding direction. Um, so in review what we want to do when we're setting the Technotill seeding system to uh, seed canola is to place the machine in the ground in the field you want to be seeded. Uh, then quickly do a hand check to determine how much loose soil is over the pack. If it's more than a quarter of an inch to a half an inch then uh, probably your seed will be too deep so readjust the machine. Make sure the depth has been adjusted so that the amount of loose soil over the pack is correct. Uh, then make sure the actual depth of the pack and the seeding depth is correct. Now just as a little reminder the pack thickness should be checked on every shank at the beginning of the year on your machine uh, whether it's an old machine or it's one that's just been set up. Now the last thing we want to check is the actual depth of the knife. Now this should run somewhere between an inch and a half and two inches and there may be exceptions to this rule depending on the amount of moisture uh, you know the amount of moisture we have but generally if you've got uh, good moisture conditions that's where we should be set. So what does this seeding tool or the Technotill seeding system do for us? Well, it will give you even germination because of the soil contact that we get to the seed. It gives you a uniform plant stand and this actually gives you even maturity of your crop and it actually will give you the best crop possible for your farm.